Welcome everyone to my tutorial on how to make images transparent. So this is changing the transparency of an image. Now um, transparency in colors is referred to as alpha and that's this little value here from ARGB. A stands for alpha, R for red, green, blue, etc. So I'll show you what I've done so far. Um, right now you pick an image. I'm going to use the one I used from the black and white tutorial. You can open that up and then you start moving this track bar. Right now it's almost fully transparent. You can't even see it. But it becomes to be more visible here. And as we continue moving along this track bar, we can reach it being fully visible at an alpha value of 255, which is the largest byte value. Now, red, green, blue, and alpha are all bytes. Um, that and that ranges between value 0, which is here, and 255, which is um, the very top, the highest value for a byte. Um, so let's get started showing you how this works. So I have a class here that I've created called image filter. And I've got a static um, method, uh, method in here. And the reason it's static is so that it can be accessed um, directly. So it would be just image filter dot this instead of doing image filter my image filter equals new image filter and then doing my image filter dot alter transparency for this it makes more sense for it to be static um, all right so first thing that we do is we um, when signing this we take our original image and the amount of alpha we want which is of course between 0 and 255 uh, 255 being the most opaque now, we take the original image and we create it into a bitmap so that we can use the set pixel. We'll actually get pixel function on it because this is the original. And then we do our transparent image and we make it the same width and the same height as our original image. Okay, and then we have two colors like we did before in the black and white tutorial. Just default them to black, C and B. We don't actually use this, I just copied that part of the code over. Um, then it goes through just like it did before through all the different pixels through width and height and then it takes the color of that pixel from the original image and then it creates a new color with that assigning alpha which is this up here to be the alpha instead of the original images alpha and then it takes the original images red green and blue value oops <laughs> don't want to do that blue value and places it back in and then it sets that pixel on the new transparent image then it finally returns that image um, so go ahead and run that again oh also with the track bar I have the maximum value being 255 and the minimum value being 0 so convert it to a byte easily um, I also added in something called graph background and what that does is it of course puts this graph in the background after I grab this image again I'll show you. So you got a graph back there. That way we can tell how transparent it is. Um, you can see, partially see the lines underneath. And now as we make it more and more transparent, lines completely disappear between. Uh, lines completely disappear from the background there, where they're more prevalent here. Anyways, that's my tutorial on how to alter image transparency. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, leave comments, subscribe, ratings, all that sort of stuff. You can ask questions in the comments below. And uh, I hope this helped you understand how to do image transparency. That's all for now. Bye.